Hey guys, Andy here, and welcome to another episode of Andy Talks Navy. And in today's episode, I'm gonna be sharing some personal advice on going back to school as a veteran. So, let's get started. So the first bit of advice I'd like to share on going back to school as a veteran is that as a veteran, you'll have significantly more free time than you did in the military, but don't let this allow you to get complacent and skip class whenever just because your classmates do. So this was a major problem that I had when I first started off going back to school, was that because I had all this free time, I felt, well, you know, there's so much time I have to do the assignments and the test is like next week and I got all this free time. <laughs> I'll be able to get that done easy day, no problem. Test day came and I didn't do as well as I had expected or the day before the assignment was due would come and I'd stay up all night trying to like hurry up and do the assignments and I felt very rushed and I didn't get a whole lot of sleep and when I would wake up the next day I would feel just very tired and sluggish and that's just no way to go through life. So the second piece of advice that I have is that Failing classes is a very real possibility, but just because it happens doesn't mean it's the end of the world. You can retake those classes, and a lot of colleges will erase your failing grade and replace it with your passing grade if you retake the class and pass. If your GPA is a bit lower than you'd like, retaking failed classes is the best way to get that GPA back up again. So the third piece of advice that I have for you guys is to establish a good working relationship with your college's VA department and contact them immediately if you notice something's wrong with your payments. In addition to helping you deal with your GI Bill, your college's VA department will be able to tell you about some exclusive veterans benefits for the campus, such as discounts, the veterans lounge, student veterans programs, and so forth. And so the fourth piece of advice that I have for you guys is to get a part-time job while in school. Even if your living situation doesn't require you to get one, the social aspect of a job will help you better readjust to civilian life much easier than being unemployed. Plus, a little bit of extra cash is nice. And so the fifth and final tip that I have for you guys on going back to school as a veteran is to keep in touch with your family and friends. If you're going to a college far away from them, it's good to keep in contact with them, especially during times when you're feeling very isolated. You know, especially being in a new environment, surrounded by a whole bunch of civilians. You may not know how to uh, socialize with them. You may feel very isolated, disconnected, lost for whatever reason, and it can be very tough. And so with that said, guys, those are my five tips on going back to school as a veteran. And with that said, this is the Andy Sign. Sign up for now, and as always, We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.